does forming an LLC for cryptocurrency trading save you on taxes? It's a question that I'm asked all the time. And the answer, unfortunately, is in most cases, no. Setting up an LLC doesn't save you on taxes, might create some additional headaches along the way. So let's break it down and explore. In order to have any difference in tax treatment for your crypto trading, generally you need to be considered a trader, not an investor. And to many of you listening to this, you might think that it's the same thing, trader or investor, different words, same meaning. But in the eyes of the IRS, it's actually very different. Investors are people who passively trade. Maybe they're buying and selling periodically, but it's not something they do for a living or as their main source of income. Traders, on the other hand, are a business. They're seen differently in the eyes of the IRS. In fact, there is a trader tax status that applies to traders. And in order to be considered a trader, you have to meet certain criteria. And unfortunately, the IRS doesn't just release uh, a bunch of guidelines on how to be considered a trader. Instead, it has developed over several years, decades, where cases have been tried determining whether or not a certain person meets the trader status. But those cases have generally been about stock trading. Uh, in fact, I'm not aware of any crypto trading tax court or district court cases regarding the trader tax status and cryptocurrency. So it's really a new frontier. But in general, in order to be considered a crypto trader for tax status, you need to be trading several times a day. In fact, there have been cases with stocks where it's many times a day that you have to be trading. You also generally need to have certain hours during the day that are your trading hours. And in many cases, it needs to be your primary source of income in order to be eligible for the trader tax status. So for most people, they're in fact investors. They're not actually traders in the eyes of the IRS. And so what does this mean? It means that your crypto has to be reported on Schedule D and for gains and losses, as well as other items on other schedules, but that you have the typical long-term and short-term gains and losses, but you cannot take deductions. Businesses, trader tax status, can take deductions for things like a home office, uh, for computer equipment, for training information, things like that. Uh, but investors don't take deductions for these types of things. So it's one of the benefits of being a trader. And so if you are a trader, in some cases, you may want to form an LLC. It's a way that you can separate the trading business entity from your own personal trading. But from a tax perspective, you still have long-term and short-term capital gains even within an LLC. So it's not taxed differently on that front. However, if you are a trader, you do get the benefit of expenses as deductions. So having it in an LLC for a lot of people makes sense. It makes it easier to account for and categorize expenses and just keep things separate from themselves. But again, that's a very limited number of people that actually are eligible for the trader tax status. Most of the consults that I have and our clients are people that are investors. Even if you're trading one or two times a day, you're still an investor. Even if you're trading multiple times a day, but you have a nine to five day job, you're likely to still be an investor. So forming an LLC, despite what you might see online and despite what firms may sell you on, just forming an LLC doesn't change your tax status. It doesn't create any additional tax benefits or save on taxes just because you created an LLC. Candidly, if it was that easy, everyone would have LLCs. They're cheap, they're easy to set up, and if you could save on taxes, everyone would do it. So for some people, may be a benefit, may create some, uh, but overall, for most, it doesn't. If you found this video useful, please share it with a friend and like it as well. Thank you for watching.